Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the strengths and advantages of using a mouse and keyboard versus a controller uh, and vice versa. So, this is a question I've been seeing a lot of people asking about recently with the release of Destiny 2 on PC. There are a lot of people who are actually now getting into PC gaming because they want to play Destiny 2 at the uh, most optimal settings and quite frankly the PC Destiny 2 experience is uh, considerably better than the console experience between the sandbox and the um, the ability to see and play at uh, you know uncapped frames I've been playing uh, you know up to 170 frames per second on uh, PC as well as having a wider uh, field of vision, your FOV settings, things like that. There's just a, a, a better experience overall on PC. Uh, also, the, the sandbox is slightly different there as well uh, in terms of the gunplay in the Crucible. So, a lot of people are getting into D2 on PC, and a lot of these people are console shooters. I mean, Destiny 1 was strictly on console, so, you know, a lot of the loyal Destiny fans are now making a transition to playing this on PC and they're wondering whether or not they should be playing with a controller, just plug the controller in, or if they should play on a mouse and keyboard. So in this video I'm going to talk about there. basically there's three reasons why you would want to use a mouse and keyboard over a controller. There's just three reasons that I can think of. So, um, but you just have to keep in mind, it's all about what your end goal is. What is your chief goal here? Is your chief goal to be able to fire up Destiny play, play relatively well, and just have fun doing it, uh, you can do that with a controller. In fact, they designed it in such a way that it would be highly approachable for console players. They wanted this to be something that there wasn't this big skill hurdle to get into the game. They wanted the loyal console fans and console shooters just to be able to fire up Destiny 2 on PC, plug in a controller, and play seamlessly like there's there's no you know tough transition to do that they wanted that approachability for console players and I absolutely love that they did that I think they absolutely needed to make this game approachable for console shooters and I think that they achieved that but you've got the loyalist PC gamers um, and and a lot of them are expressing discontent for the approachability of console players for the, the ability to plug in a controller and play well some of the PC loyalists don't like that. Uh, but here's what you have to keep in mind if you're one of those people. You're never going to be able to accomplish on a controller uh, some of the things that you can do on a mouse and keyboard. So don't worry. I mean, these people with controllers, yeah, they plug it in and they're playing. But you know what? They built up muscle memory on a controller same way you built up muscle memory on a, a mouse and keyboard. It's not a better input device it's just a different input device so there's no shame in using a controller and there's no reason to uh, cast shame on people using a controller by the way all the gameplay that you're seeing in this video is on mouse and keyboard it's all uh, M and K so I've been playing almost exclusively mouse and keyboard on uh, uh, D2 on PC I plugged it I plugged in a controller one time for one gaming session and that's just because I was on the gaming laptop and the uh, the keyboard is very different than the one that I've been building up my muscle memory on so I just plugged in the controller for a casual little PvP session other than that I've been playing exclusively mouse and keyboard and that's all the footage you're seeing in this video so so what are the three reasons why you may want to choose to use mouse and keyboard uh, the three that I can think of are one you want to be in the top 10 percent of gamers you can make it probably to the top 90 percentile with a controller, but there's just some certain things that you can do with a mouse and keyboard you can't do with a controller. So if you wanted to be able to compete in the top 10 percent, you're probably going to want to build up your uh, your skill on mouse and keyboard because you can do things like uh, aim snapping is so much faster. You can do it so much faster than you can ever do it on a controller uh, with a mouse and keyboard. The other thing that you can do with a mouse and keyboard is uh, immediate directional changes. You can peek a lane and then instantly slide in the opposite direction. There's there's relatively no time to, to turn around and hit the slide button. You can do instantaneous directional changes on a mouse and keyboard that you could never do on a controller. So, um, you know, you've got all that mouse pad to work with. You can just swipe and slide. Easy peasy. So. Uh, that added mobility is really nice to have on a mouse and keyboard. So if you wanted to be able to compete in the top 10 percentile, you're probably going to have to uh, learn mouse and keyboard. And it's going to take some time. It really will. Uh, you're learning muscle memory all over again. 
So you're going to get worse before you're going to get better. It's going to be frustrating because you're going to know, if, hey, if I was playing that controller right now, I'd play you know, twice as good. So it can be frustrating, but you just have to stick with it and grind it out. So that's one reason maybe you want to be in the top 10 percentile. Uh, the other reason, one of the other two, uh, two reasons is maybe you just want a personal challenge. Some people just love a personal challenge to learn a new skill. And um, you may enjoy the uh, the challenge of learning mouse and keyboard in and of itself for no other reason than having the challenge. The last reason you might want to use mouse and keyboard uh, is because you want to get into PC gaming uh, further after D2. And frankly, there are just so many games uh, for PC that are so good that you just can't do controller on. I mean, if you plug in a controller into PUBG, you're going to be horrendous in relation to even mediocre mouse and keyboard players. Um, so if you wanted to get into PC gaming in general, you may want to start using a mouse and keyboard. But Destiny just demands so much more of you than most other games on PC do. So if you learn mouse and keyboard here, you're going to be set anywhere else. Because there's so much movement and multitasking involved in Destiny uh, that other PC games don't demand of you. Most of them don't at least. So if you get good here, you're going to be fine elsewhere. So those are some of the reasons you may want to look into using a mouse and keyboard. I hope that you've enjoyed the gameplay and the chit-chat. Hopefully you're enjoying D2 on PC as much as I am, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.